No! Hi everybody, I'm Auntie Sue. Hannah and Logan, your Auntie Sue loves you. So we're gonna to talk today about how not to get pregnant. Now there are a bunch of different ways not to get pregnant. Lots of people use condoms. Some people use the pull-out method. I have a word for people who use the pull-out method. I call them daddy. Because what happens is you can get pregnant if you just use it as a pull-out. Like you have to remember to pull out in time. You have to make sure there's no fluid there at the time of the month that you can get pregnant. And you can get pregnant four days a month. We'll talk about that another time. But right now we're going to talk about what are the most common ways not to get pregnant. Besides the condom, and it helps, but condoms fail 10% of the time. You know what that means? That means if 100 girls are having sex in a year, 10 of them are going to get pregnant. Not good enough odds. What you can do is if you don't want to have any hormones or don't want to do this, there are things called the diaphragm. Now this one's an old one. I've had this one for like 25 years forever. There's new ones, the purple one. I couldn't find it today to show you, but I will next time. It's called the Kaya diaphragm. And that with a condom, your way, they're each about, this one's about 90%. This is about 92%. So together you are not having, you're not going to get pregnant. And you can order them online, C-A-Y-A -A diaphragm. They're about, if parents can buy them, they're about $150. And you can use them, as I said, I've had this one for 30 years. What I like about the diaphragm is it will prevent, if you're having sex during your period, you put it in and it keeps the blood back. So you, here's what you do. You squish it in and you put it in your vagina and it pops open. Just like a tampon doesn't feel funny when you put it in, once the diaphragm's in properly, you don't feel it. You take it out eight after, hours after having sex. Sometimes you put little, you put um, hydrogolic acid in it, but there's things that we can talk about. And on the website, my Sex with Sue website, I have a, um, a link that gives all the descriptions about what you need to do, but I think it's important that you see it, okay? The second most common one is something called the IUD, not IED, those things, those are minds that blow up. This is an IUD, which stands for the interuterine, interuterine device. And they look something like this, only a bit smaller. And what happens is they go inside your vagina for girls and they go even further back. They go through what feels like your cervix, which feels like the end of your nose and it's a tiny little hole. And so it bends like this and it goes in and then it pops. And inside it either puts out some hormones to keep you from getting pregnant or it may has a little bit of copper wire which makes the, the uterus kind of irritated. Your uterus is about the size of your fist and it keeps where the babies go. So if it keeps the hormones there, you can't get pregnant. And now it's not fun to get them put in, it hurts a little bit, um, but they stay in for five years and you don't have to think about it. They're very common and a lot of people do them because you can buy them once, get them in and done. And they're covered by most people's health plans. The last one that is common that I'm gonna talk about and just briefly, and I don't have a package with me, but I'll bring one another time, is a package of birth control pills. And usually they're a pill that you take every day. And if you forget them, it is actually helps get you pregnant. So you have to make sure you take it every day at the same time. If you don't, you can get pregnant. What it does is it prevents the girls from having an egg. And if you don't have an egg, you can't get pregnant. We're gonna talk about what that means and all of the science behind it, but that's enough for today. IUD, diaphragm, condom, birth control pill. Think about it, we'll get you some more information, but you need to start having those conversations if you want backup birth control and everybody needs backup birth control. All right, everybody, I'm Sue McGarvey. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you're a grown up, check out our site, grownupsexed.ca. This is not your mother's sex education. I'm Sue McGarvey, thanks for hanging out.